Right, how are we today? Let's uh, get straight to it, what do you reckon? Radio check. Spotter, radio check. Not that we uh, need a spot at the moment because it is a little bit of a quieter start than usual. That's fine, that's cool. Hi. So let me just quickly get the link to this, chuck it in the TCR Discord as well. And then we'll be ready to get some laps in. There we go. Cool. Well, I hope everyone's good, everyone's well. Thank you for the luck, Billy. Appreciate it, mate. Um let's jump straight into in fact we need to download the new uh setup for this week i did forget to do that before the stream shouldn't take too long to be honest uh car on to geek in road america download that download the qualifier miguel thanks for the host no problem at all my friend no worries good to see that the first three cars that have joined in of all honda civics honda gang i can't do the hand signal things i do in discords but <laughs> all right so anyway my setups road america wow i've raced on this track so many times you lot can't see it but there's there's a lot of a lot of stuff on there let's get to it Let's jump straight in. Let's make sure my views are okay because I have changed them recently. Uh, I think I changed it for the Veloster or whatever we were racing last time. And that seems like it could be okay. We'll just move it slightly enough so I can kind of see the gears underneath. There we go. Right, so Road America. How many times will I accidentally call it Road Atlanta? Join the stream. How many times will I accidentally call it Road Atlanta during tomorrow's video? Uh, first of all, massive thank you to everyone who's checked out the R Factor Twitch highlight slash replay. We, we're nearly at a thousand views on it already. I, okay, maybe not that many, but I, I do have a feeling that uh, at some point this week, even though R Factor LFM is at a uh, Froxton, new track for for them. Even though that's the track, I have a feeling because it's uh, got the title of an iRacer tries our factor, it's going to keep on getting views no matter what. Now, what I am planning at some point this week uh, doing a video for Froxton. I think I will get started on that Wednesday. So we're going to carry on with the normal iRacing schedule. So tomorrow you will get uh, the usual weekly touring car video from my racing wednesday might be the start of the r factor videos if people want to see them so be sure to let me know in the comments in the chat oh no that's not how if i accidentally took out on a previous <laughs> so there's a lot of people who I recognise the name straight away when doing the touring cars on our factor from in here. I'm pretty sure Habib, who's just joined the session now, was who I accidentally took out <laughs> on a race on Saturday. So, whoops. <laughs> so he will probably give me an ass kicking at some point. did make sure to get my apology out as soon as possible on that. Ooh, cold tyres. Got the control in. Right, let's go. Let's go. So, we find ourselves in a, a pretty good position, actually. 
I, I was aiming towards the end of the season to be at least a 2.5k rating. Don't know if we're going to be able to manage that. We'll try, but we're going to need some absolutely amazing results coming up, which I don't think are going to be particularly attainable. But a nice uh, 4.8 on the safety. Thank you, uh, Nürburgring. Right, so cold, the, the track's a little bit colder. I think it's a uh, 69 Fahrenheit. Nice. And yeah, we just need to... It might be a bit of a shorter stream today because there's not so much learning that we need to do. It's more perfection that we're trying to do for this course today, so... But Road America, I, I like Road America. Not a favourite track, but I... I I like it enough that I can pull up with it. This Saturday, during the birthday stream, it's my birthday this week, so we're going to be celebrating mainly on Saturday. Perhaps Sunday, perhaps Friday and Monday as well. We'll be celebrating then, and it is going to be IMSA Michelin Pilot Series weekend, so we will absolutely be doing that. I nearly... So I'm looking forward to that. I haven't decided if I'm going to be doing it in a touring car yet or a GT4. But I know last time I did it in a touring car, I got my ass handed to me. I was chucked in top split and jeez was it tough. Nearly as uh, tough as that. Luckily there's no damage so... front wheel drive it's not a uh, not as easy doing the whole spin round thing showing off don't know where my uh wheels jolting violently as well <laughs> uh, tell me about your your weekends what you got planned for the week and if you have uh watched the uh, factor 2 video what did you reckon to it I say I, I tell no lies that was legit my first race ever in the rain I think I did all right let's see if we can get a uh Nice quick timing. The fact that we're not losing too much speed and we are running a race fuel setup at the moment. So it's uh, up towards 220 at the moment. So see how we do, if I remember correctly. Set of three cones. Guide yourself through. You can go through a lot quicker. Take a little bit of the curb. Get yourselves round. Set the two point. You've got these little, in, little lines in the road for the boards that you see on the side. That one you could probably get away with taking in third, to be honest, once your tyres were warmed up a little bit more. Now if you're in a more powerful car, it's usually the in between the four and the five board. Touring cars, I think you can get away with the third. Watch out for a lot of dive bombs just there. Sweep your way around. You've got plenty of curb there you can take if you need to. Here is a bit of a tricky one sometimes, you can keep it in third if you want, sometimes you go down to second. You're going to get a lot of people trying to take you on that curve just there, which can sometimes uh, result in death. That last corner I took there, I took completely wrong, you should be able to go up into fourth, maybe a slight lift, and then I completely missed the breaking point, so make sure you don't do that and end up in the grass, or the kitty litter. Get our ways around now. A few people have a load of different lines to this. I sort of go a little bit wider here, and my aim is to be able to go full throttle as soon as possible and just glide through the rest of the corner. Once your tyres are warmed up, you should be able to take that near full throttle. Just got to be careful when you're on colder tyres and be wary of other people because if someone goes off in front of you, it's going to cause a massive mess. Break at the four. Once again, you can go third if you want. There's plenty of curb there if you want to try and get the acceleration going. 
whilst maintaining a straight line slightly from the fourth and usually when the tarmac gets a little bit darker I sort of try and slow down around there third gear use a load of the curb and just aim to get as good of an exit as you can uh, turn 14 turn 3 are absolutely essential that you nail and get right way too slow I'm being a little bit cautious for the first few laps um, in these sessions if anyone wants to join you're more than welcome to I have the same going on with GT4s at the moment in a separate server I try and mirror the iRacing temperatures as much as I can apologies to anyone who did GT4 last week at mid Ohio and uh, we're in pitch black I just did it uh, around the same time that that session started anyway so a good job we didn't have Michelin Pilot Series just there. Right, looks like uh, the two board could be a good one. We've got a great exit out of there. You can see the time at the top. I've raced here and recorded videos quite a bit of Road America with much very varying results. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel for that one. If you haven't already chucked a like on the video, feel free to do so. If you haven't yet subscribed, now is the perfect time to do so as well. Got a few Assetto Corsa uh, career mode videos on here, a few bits of F1 Manager though. The F1 Manager series is going through a bit of a hiatus at the moment while I'm mailing it on Twitch. So I'm doing an Audi playthrough on Twitch, so it means that when I'm doing. Ah, uh, what a bloody save. So when I'm. Uh... <laughs> So when changing all liveries, I of course don't want them through on there here, so. So F1 Manager has stopped on this channel for now. Apologies for that, because I know that does still get a load of views per week. But our factor videos, I'm aiming for a Wednesday or a Thursday release. Thank you again to everyone who is uh, checking those out at the moment. much quicker lap but we can get quicker I think we can get into the 220s pretty easily today it's a much cooler track yeah, the tyres slightly screaming there we go knew Ishmael was going to uh, do us over there not my greatest exit from that corner, but it is a little bit quicker. You see from the time at the top. Uh, I've got him behind me at the moment. I'll laugh if he uh, gives me a playful nudge off the, off the circuit. Let's try to get out of control as much as possible. Wasn't great. Yeah, I think the second gear is going to be the uh, gear of choice through that one. You could take a little bit of the inside grass on there, but I wouldn't advise doing it too much. Same with there, there's a slight camber to the curb, so you can use that to your advantage. Some of you may have noticed recently I've stopped using gloves. I will be going back to gloves shortly, I just want to get a, a decent pair, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. Okay, I seem to be losing it quite a bit in there, so I might need to readjust my approach. Just that by itself is losing me 7 temps, at least. Oh, I got way close to the edge there. That's probably nearly one of the best I've taken that corner. If I didn't sort of like stutter and 
doubt myself for a second. I feel like we're still going to be in the 222s. Yeah. Hmm, let's see what we can do here. Rubbish first corner. That we definitely need to tighten that one up a little bit. Much better exit. Which by the end of this straight might prove to be the better course of action. We just try to keep a little bit wider. The fire entry into the corner just opens it out a little bit more. Kind of what we're doing there. That is quicker at entry, the exit not so good. That's fine because we'll just uh just practice that. I feel quicker though. I feel quicker for some reason today. Uh, there's arguments to be made that getting experience in more than one sim or game does improve uh, your overall. When it comes to driving and practicing some of these courses, and uh, I do notice that I am trying to be a little bit more careful with my brakes because, in our fact, you do get warnings about uh, if you're braking too hard or tyre temperatures uh, weird on a specific wheel. Now we've got an off track on the inside corner there, so slap will be uh, invalidated, but. It was still showing up in the top corner. That, that was a pretty good lap. Both in the 21s at the most. I have a feeling this could actually be in the 20s. Ah, oh, just short. Yeah, not going to beat uh, Ishmael's time. No way. No way in hell that's going to happen. Good exit. Ooh, I was lucky that wasn't an off track. Once again, really quick into the corner. Exit just left uh, a little bit to be desired now. The other problem I'm going to be facing is it's, it's all well and good me hot lapping and, and getting quicker but there's going to be a lot of times where I'm going to be in battles and battling is something I desperately need to improve on. Just have a look at the uh, SRL League stuff like I was a lot better at Road Atlanta than I have been lately with battling but there's still so much I need to, need to do and learn so... That felt smoother and you can see the times, the times were a lot smoother as well. Very cautious round there at the moment. Now I wonder if that's the humidity in the air. Because it's a high humidity, it's like 90 odd percent apparently this week for uh, Road America. Which is one of the highest I've uh, had to set. Get that below 20, don't think we are, but it's got to be my quickest yet. We're in the 20s. Still a second off for quickest, guys, but. I'm 
sure when the big big boys come along as well they'll smash some of these times out the water that's a bit too much so I have it right behind me sneaking in on me and he's into the 219s Okay, I can get away with full throttle then. Remember that for future reference. So going out wide, instead of a full throttle this time, I'm just going to control it. It seems to be quicker that way rather than just full blown. A little bit more control there and still losing time but at the same time we're actually getting away from Habib slightly. You can go on the uh, accelerator a little bit earlier there because you have a much bigger runoff. Have it much quicker there, so I'm doing something wrong there. Go on, point eight. Go on. Actually, yeah, was. So maybe you need to start using the uh, curb to turn in, like the outside curb. Apparently that was a quicker exit than uh, Habib. Okay, it's good to know. He is in the Elantra, so he should be a bit better on the curbs if there is any high curbs here, which to be honest is not, but... Oh, that's much better. Not a great exit. But we can get away with full pelt round there, that's good to know. Okay, that was better. That was better. Get in there. There we go, decent corner, exit just there. But hopefully that's even bigger, or even quicker even is what I meant, even bigger. What, what Jay? Hey Luxury, how are we doing? How are we? And that's really quick for us. That is a really quick time for us, and in fact that is the quickest lap we have ever done at Road America in the Civic. Good stuff. And that's... Ah! There we go. <laughs> Nearly. And we're going to have to give this lap up and let her have it go. 
Tim to pass right. If he gives me a crack and a hit, I'll let him have it because I did take him out over the weekend. You want to stop pedals with it? No, I'm not. So, um, I don't know if in my video description I put down what I use yet. I know I have on some videos. I actually use the uh, Fanatec Club Sport V3s. They were an early birthday present from myself. Because <laughs> I just... I, 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 once you've got the mods in with the G920 like pedals, they're okay. You know, you can get away with it, but honestly, the difference is literally night and day once you actually like upgrade to proper pedals. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because only I know what I want. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Even then, sometimes I still don't know what I want. Oh, you got to... I don't know... Sorry, I don't know if it's the humidity that's causing this, but... You've never had to battle with that corner before like that. That's an off track there. Damn it. Let's see with the race mods. What do you currently use? Are you on stock, uh... G920, G29 stuff. I'm telling you, like, literally anything's better. Just stock, yeah. Anything's a uh, improvement. Much better on that first corner. Right, let's try and uh, use what we learnt in Rutsugu and then just concentrate on smoothness as well. Like, sometimes you have to force yourself to be slower and smooth to get that pace, and we're getting there with it. Like, I'm having to drill it into me like every single time I get behind this thing. Pretty on the uh, open wheel main. I used to be. Uh, if you have a look at the earlier videos of uh, this channel, it was pretty much all Skip Barber with a bit of GT3 every now and then. Then uh, Skip Barber, you just started getting less and less people going for officials and I could never actually get the session going. And then they released the Honda Civic and the Elantra and I was just like, this series is literally calling my name. Right, second gear is definitely optimal for that one. And oh my, is it annoying. But with, with the stop pedals though, like it does teach you to be a little bit more careful. Stuff like that. They're, they're good. I, I would call the stock pedals for Logitech. Great training pedals, you know. Sometimes it's best to train on the basic, below average stuff. Because... When you do get the better stuff, you just appreciate so, more, so much more and you already sort of have a sense of, uh, oh, what do you call it, like, um, you've gone worse, but when you get the better equipment, you're going to take to it straight away, appreciate it more. It, there's a word for it, and I can't remember what the word is. Yes, so for our racing, they are all front wheel drive. Um, for our factor, which we're going to start doing a little bit more, we've got the Audi and I think the Infinity as well are both rear wheel drive. So on certain circuits like Silverstone, Froxton as well, I feel it's going to be all rear wheel drive. It's going to be the meta. We will probably stick to the Toyota Corolla, to be honest, because I've really taken a good liking to that car straight away. Don't hit the pit wall and exit. I had to hit the pit wall and exit for the uh, for the thumbnail, unfortunately, mate. Yeah, I'm hoping so. It, it will be. Like, like I said, my my performance increased tenfold since I changed the pedals about. 
Like, like I said, the difference was night and day, and I, I just... When I changed the pearls, I enjoyed the sim a lot more as well, and I think enjoyment is one of those hidden... hidden stats that you need to have quite high when doing stuff like iRacing. It's less pressure. No pun intended with great bias and shit. How are we, Billy? You all good, mate? You all well? Alright, three laps of fuel left, so we should probably focus on trying to... Right, I wish I could do that in the whim. Just like slide into corners like that with a TCR. But I can't. Because <coughs> I'm not that good a driver yet. How are we at 2.3k, I don't know. We've been very lucky in some uh, in some races recently. Yeah, that was better. That was a great corner. Go get ourselves round. Last corner. Whee! That little jump. Love it. Then we can start, hopefully, a proper quick lap. Decent eggs out of there. <laughs> hey, Brown, how are we today? Hope you're good. Hope you're well. Welcome in. And this is my main. <laughs> well, I'm not annoying people on our factor. I do this instead. Ah! So we're going to do a quick lap. We're not doing a quick lap. What I meant was I'm saving that quick lap for a little bit later. Yeah, yeah that's it. So, what I usually do with my practice sessions, I'll, I'll just do a whole, whole 30 minutes of just pushing as hard as I can in certain corners when the tyres are a bit warmer, just to see how much I can push before, like, enough is enough. Should be much better on that corner. I don't know why I can never get out of that corner as quick as I go into it. Because it just ends up putting me into an awkward position on that last corner. If I'm still by the side of someone, I'm usually on the inside of this one, which is kind of not where I want to be. Went into the... Oh, you have to give me a second to read that. Right, so now I know the breaking point that suits me is going to be a little bit sooner. Change the max break to more than 100%. So I literally can't break 100% if I try. It's a bit better with logic pedals, but it's still not ideal. I get you. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've modded your Logitech pedals at all, but what I did was I took a little rubber, um, rubber block. I probably cut about three mil, like not a lot at all. You don't remember. It's better to cut too little and cut too much because once you cut too much on those things. You ain't getting it back. There's no super glue that's strong enough to sort that out. Uh, but yeah, I, I also got a GTI spring, which I ordered from Australia, I think it was. Set me back a little bit, but at the time, it was either... Spend 40 quid to mod my current Logitech pedals, or buy new ones, which would have cost me three, four hundred pounds. And to begin with, I did the mod side, and, and it worked. And then after a while, I messed up the cable, and I was just like, look, I'm just going to buy new pedals. So that's when I got the Fantex. Hey, I take it that's Lockwood? If it's not, then please correct me so I can continually get it wrong until I eventually do get it right. I was going to buy the uh, R Factor 2 content, but figured I would wait after watching your race. Honestly, if you can get um, R Factor for cheap to begin with, so that would be. Oh, you son of a. <laughs> so, CD keys, if they have it in stock, have R Factor 2 for dirt cheap. If you go into my Discord, if someone wants to do the Discord command, then you can go in there and there's a code, uh, an affiliate code in there because I like affiliate codes. 
just means if you use that affiliate code I get a little bit of money towards it if you're only buying our factor which is under a fiver on CD keys I would probably barely get a few cents but yeah no with the uh, touring car content for LFM you have to remember that you've got to buy all the touring cars now I'm sure I heard in the grapevine that there's three more touring cars to come if that's the case that's three more purchases but hopefully and this is where our factor does a little bit better than iRacing they come out in packs and the packs do make it a little bit cheaper so Pom! good to see you uh, lurking as I heal dungeons no problem at all you, you you heal those people and refrain from killing innocent animals and just before someone reports me or Pom I'm on about World of Warcraft she's not actually killing innocent creatures It is but awesome. I hope you're good. Hope you are well. Uh, I haven't modded anything. No. Right. Okay. But yeah, there, there's options to mod your pedals if you don't want to upgrade your pedals or you want to give that a go first. But but like I said, the, the difference between the stock pedals and actually getting proper pedals is literally nine day. Why is Crew Chief not working? Because Crew Chief is still set to our factor. That's why. Let's get our pit stop in. Right. <laughs> That's uh that that wasn't my uh my finest uh jump into the pit stop into the pit lane. Alright, I race in. Radio check. Spotter, radio check. There we go, now it's working. Uh, you're on V3s now, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. So, we, we we went the modded route for a little while, and then I just decided for an early birthday present earlier in the year, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to buy myself some big boys. And I did, and they're not attached to anything, but I've got them in a certain position, so they're sort of locked into the floor between the stand for my PC and... I don't know what I keep in that box. I don't want to open that box, but some other box. I uh, have Pats 2 didn't feel like dropping on the content, and, and that's fair. That's fair. I, I do find it kind of weird that for LFM, you do have to buy every single piece of content. If, if I racing did that, there would be absolute riots just quickly uh, put a cheap plug inside the session because I'm like that yeah I, I do find that a little bit weird I'm, I'm glad they didn't do the same with the tracks because <sighs> that would be extortionate but at least at least the content's a lot cheaper on our factor and, and that's pretty good I, I like that but to be honest I, I love sim racing and I, I make enough from my twitch and my youtube stuff to to get it so yeah uh our factor two on libra is like three pound fifty with a discount code ak s8 yeah that's about the same price it was on cd keys so ideal pit stop line graceful it's not on the tracks yeah so the tracks you don't have to buy all the tracks the tracks as far as i know are voted for i don't know where they're voted for uh, it's Froxton this week and unlike iRacing, so iRacing does their resets on a Tuesday, our factor on a Monday. Um, going forward, once it is week 13 in iRacing, which is in about 2-3 weeks time, I may have to change the times that I do this practice session. I may have to move this practice session to like a Sunday or something like that instead. Because I really want to get into the habit of if I'm going to be doing our factor as well. I want to release my R Factor content on the day that the track changes happen. It's what I do with iRacing and it, it helps me out massively when it comes to views, likes and subs. It's it's just how it is. You've just got to be first. You've just got to get all your content out there first and hopefully get it out there before some of the bigger streamers and content creators. It works. Clear. I've got very lucky <laughs> with it's the R Factor 2 video I put on which is a Twitch highlight. So massive thank you to everybody who has watched that. I'll, I will tell you now and I, I feel exactly the same as I did before. That rain race at Silverstone is one of the most fun races I have ever had. 
despite a random car being on fire, despite the penalty at the start, despite little bits and pieces happening to me and opponents, I won't speed it, spoil it too much, despite all that, I can honestly say I haven't had that much fun and seen that much action in the race for so damn long. So long. So if you haven't already seen it, feel free to check it out. So I think that'll be the usual length for my videos as well. Those who have never actually seen my racing videos, what I like to do, which is slightly different to what a lot of other content creators do, is if there's incidents, I actually mesh them up into the middle of the actual racing content. So think of it like an actual like broadcast, like Formula One or British Touring Cars, anything like that, where they'll do action replays of results, but have it picture in picture, so you can see the actual what's going on right there on the track at the same time so that way the action doesn't stop you get to see what's happened elsewhere on the track as well and you can kind of learn where everybody else makes their mistakes you know that's that sort of thing so that is my style that's what i kind of want to do with our factor granted that's going to be a little bit harder to do with our factor as well because there's no button just to go to the next incident which i race in hands so yeah all key shot code, not mine by the way. Yeah, no ways, man. It's uh, good to know there's other, other avenues to getting some games cheaper. I will say though, if uh, ever any of those key shops do like DLC stuff in the future, I think I'm going to just carry on doing it on Steam just so our factor does get my money. I do feel a bit horrible for going elsewhere for the key, but. All my DLC from now on will be brought straight from Steam or whatever gives our fats the, the most money because they deserve it and I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with what they're providing at the moment. Okay, so the tyre model on my racing is a bit different to our factors. The tyres are pretty terrible in this latest build. They take so, so long to, to heat up. It is unreal. And you'll, you'll find yourself, it's like, it's like Swan Lake on ice, Disney on ice, where you're literally going everywhere. You're going to find, a, especially in the lower splits, a lot of people making a lot of mistakes. And a lot of the time, you'll just want to try and keep out of everyone's way as much as possible. That is Jim one prime example just there. Uh, you going to let me through? Please let me through. Thank you. On your right. Play right. That's Salva. Salva is 1.9k. So Salva is the sort of person that would probably be racing against tomorrow. So Sector one I'm is a pretty busy person. I, I have a full-time job on top of doing all the rest of this stuff on here as well. So what usually happens is on Tuesdays, as soon as I get in from work, I'm booting this up. I'm recording stuff. A lot of the races you'll see on my YouTube you won't find on my Twitch. What I did this weekend is pretty rare when I do actually get a Twitch highlight on there. But everything that you see on YouTube is usually exclusive to YouTube. I'll try my best to make sure it's all original content as much as possible. And then during the weekends when I'm on Twitch, I'll probably just do separate races on there. As well as other things like that. So, not streaming then if you don't mind me asking. Uh... I, I do factory work for calibration tools and pipes. Two I don't really want to give away any more than that, but I, I do a lot of factory work and stuff. So uh, can be draining sometimes, but I get paid, which is the most important thing. <laughs> as long as I get paid, I don't care what I do sometimes. Actually no, that, that sounds bad. There's there's limits. It's definitely limits. But yeah, I uh, sometimes start at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, get home around quarter to 5, 5-ish, five and then record, edit, render, and release all in the same evening. That's usually how my Tuesdays go. That's your fastest lap today. You're currently 2.5 off the pace. A 
Luckily, I, I only do that a maximum of two times a week, where I actually raise... Well, it's going to be two times a week with our factor. Uh, I am stream now on YouTube on Mondays and every two Fridays. Every two Fridays, I'm in a touring car league where I race in, uh, called SRL. And Mondays, I mainly stream my practice, because if I stream my practice, it means I hold myself accountable and I actually practice. The worst thing I could do is not practice before a race on Tuesday. Even if it's a track Sector I know like is, Road zero, America. Two, seven, off the pace. How are we a second? I don't know. In the practice so far. Obviously the person who's first is an alien. So... We ain't catching him. Beat the rewards soon? This is a hobby at the end of the day. The dream would be able to do this sort of like full time, have a part time job on the side and stuff like that. I'm familiar with SRL. Yes, you are. In fact, Mr. Brown, if you type in the command, so exclamation point and point in SRL, it should hopefully come up with a link for SRL's channel. And I. Sector 2 is 1.4. Recommend off everyone the base. clicks that link and subscribe. Say so if you like watching broadcasters sim racing and get yourself onto that channel. They mainly do a lot of GT4 and touring car. I don't know if there's ever going to be like any plans to expand onto other classes, but what they do is good quality. So definitely check that out. SRL, and for some reason, yeah, my bot's not been very uh, cooperative today. That's a shame. I think if you check the video description, I might have the link underneath there. And there's also UKSR as well, which is well worth checking out too. Good lap. That's your quickest so far. That might work. Sector 3 is 0.8. Off the pace. Try and keep everything lower case if I can, but... Yeah, no, some, sometimes my bot wants to work, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why it... New fastest lap for I don't know why Jimenez. it doesn't. I failed. Nah, uh, that would be my, uh... I use Stream Elements for my bot on YouTube. Because I don't really want to use Stream Labs, because Stream Labs are uh, a bunch of con artists. No, I still use their bot, but I have reasons for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look into it, and in fact, after I've, uh, Sector 1 is 0 messed up there. Off the pace. Right, let's jump back in the pits. Let me try and sort this problem out now. Good to be young. I ain't young. I'm not young. Older than I look. And I'll be even older by the end of this week, because it's birthday week. Which reminds me, on uh, Saturday, I will be, uh... Doing a lot of community stuff on Twitch, so, like, if you like, uh and joining games of, uh, and like streams and stuff then might be your sort of thing I've been told I've got to play a game called Trombone Champ and I'm scared <laughs> I'm really scared uh, let's have a look right stream elements it's only take a few seconds hopefully might just have to kick the bot out of the channel then chuck it back in let's have a look so stream elements I need to put both my accounts together as well because for some reason I'm an idiot and I created two separate accounts one for twitch one for youtube when I could have just done it on both the same thing once again, I'm just an idiot. Use another account. Now I've got to remember all my login details. Does anyone know my password? Yeah, if anyone has any questions about anything, like how I find the wheel, the pedals and stuff like that. I won't be a complete expert of it, but if you want like an opinion or something on it, I can hopefully give you that. Right. Fourth password lucky. Why is it always the fourth one lucky? And then I've got to go onto my phone and two factor, which is amazing by the way. Check your phone. Set a notification to my phone. 
but it's kicked me out of it's kicked me out so what's the point oh my god what about this phone uh yes it's me i'm, I'm not a drug dealer i swear i have two phones because i've just recently upgraded yep that's fine is it working yes it's working not a drug dealer <laughs> Okay, so let's force it into the channel. There we go. Now, do what I say, and when I put in a command, make sure you bloody do it. No, nothing. So that probably means my Twitter one doesn't work. Probably means my Discord one doesn't work. Of course I don't. Of course I don't. <sighs> this is awkward. But anyways, let me see if uh, I could put my link tree in. That would probably be the best one. So link tree. I'll just type it in. It, it makes everything so much easier. There we go, guys. There's my link tree. You can find all my links in there. Especially the Discord, Twitter, Twitch are probably the three most important. Uh, yeah, let's uh, crack on. It takes, it looks clear. We've been live for 54 minutes. Do another half hour. And then what we'd like to do at the end of the session is just see what the... Wow, frames. Frames. Are you okay there? Hun, you okay? And what we'd like to do at the end of the stream is just check out who the quickest lap of the session is. Which means that anyone who checks out this VOD afterwards, I'll put it in the timestamps underneath, can just go see the quickest lap if they want to. But our quickest lap is a 220.4 and I'm pretty sure that was a clean lap as well, which is good for me. go is my bot okay I don't know what's up with my bot something is seriously up with my bot today <laughs> For my week and, and what I'm going to be doing this week. What about you lot? Why are you lot going to be racing? Where are you going to be racing? And is there uh, anything you're looking forward to? Plus. Plus. If you watch it. I know some people in here don't. If you watch the F1. Can't wait for Red Bull season. Next season. That's going to be spicy. Or... More realistically, they're still going to give Max the best car, so... Perez is still not going to be able to touch him. In fact, this could be the end of, of uh, Verstappen at Red Bull. I, I don't know if he has signed a contract recently. But would Red Bull want to re-sign him if he's got that attitude at the moment? Wait, how I saw the radio, Horner's not in charge. Horner is not in charge at all. Much better corner, but I don't have a tyre grip just yet to pull that off. So let's focus on uh, getting 219. that smoothness. Wow. Wow, Habib is absolutely killing the time charts right now. Nearly a second quicker than my quickest time. But remember, I've got no tyre grip. Yep, schedule for this week. Tuesday is going to be 
this race here. I think it's going to be the half an hour one because of the time changes. When I get home, the first race that I can realistically do is the UK time 5.45. So I think now that's the half hour race, which suits me. I don't mind making longer videos. It means I can put more ads in them. I'm joking. I'm kidding. take it easy yeah for some reason that corner is really slippy this week don't it, like I said I reckon it could be humidity don't know if that has that much of a factor in fact it's so humid could mean that tires last a little bit longer as well so usually if you do the IMPC general rule of thumb is still you don't need to pit for tires now I might just do the same try and uh, last on track as long as possible because that would just mean that my fuel it's a short, short pit stop with the fuel plus I'm not changing tyres so I can just go in go out and in fact my pit stops have been pretty decent lately I don't know if it's because I've been practicing the entries as well but everything's been pretty uh, hunky dory with um Races with pit stops in at the moment seem to be gaining places, and it's confusing people. And I don't even know what I'm doing different to everybody else sometimes. Much better corner. As long as that bar at the top, underneath the mirror, keeps white or green, that'll be the aim. Uh, we've got 12 laps to try and gain a little bit quicker. What's my great bias in at the moment? Still need to warm the tyres up a little bit. So brake bias is at 61.8, which is still quite low for the Civic. Those of you who are more used to like the Elantra or um, the Audi, and that sounds ridiculously high for the Honda, 61 is low. Like the brake bias values are so different in each car. I, I don't know what it's like compared to the Elantra and the Veloster. They could be pretty similar actually because it's a high end I think. I can't wait for our racing to get rain. Can you imagine the carnage? Like Mount Panorama. Hang on, I just thought. I'm sure next season I saw that. Mission Pilot Series, which for those who don't know, is Touring Cars and GT4 doing a two-hour race, multi-class. I'm sure that next season Mount Panorama, aka Bathurst, is going to be the track for a two-hour race in these things. And I could not be more excited for it. have it 9.7 behind I need to get better that last corner sector 3 is 0.8 off the pace 0.8 just on sector 3 that's rough yeah dodgy corner there so some reason still went through it okay oh absolutely to begin with I, I think to begin with it will be horrendous especially on a course like VIR or Alton oh my god Alton Park and rain would be catastrophic for your safety rating imagine how many times the rain's going to force you out wide Bell Island as well I think like tracks like Red Bull Ring, Silverstone, you'd be a bit more okay with the rain. No, I was okay with rain in uh, Silverstone earlier uh, in the weekend. But yeah, no, I think for the first few weeks it will 
it will wreak havoc on people's safety. But I think as as the year as the season goes by, you'll see it a lot less people just learn to cope with it, get along with it. Makes you wonder if I racing will uh will do a lot of rain sessions to the point where you have to do at least one to get your uh, participation. I braked far too much for that corner. In fact, I probably shouldn't break two is one point two seconds off the pace. Yeah, I, I think league races would behave enough. Plus, we have the uh, for SRO we have the practice sessions, which majorly helps when I am able to get into one. I wasn't able to last week because I had a uh, enduro, which hopefully UKSR will release a VO for at some point. It was a fun uh, 90 minute race that. Hopefully this is an indication of it, but in our factor, participation stayed the same and in some cases kind of went up as well for Silverstone. That's your fastest lap. I, I think for, for tracks like like the, the rubbish official tracks like um, Sorry, low participation, not rubbish. There's, there's some low, great tracks on there, but low participation tracks, if there's rain there, absolutely. People will avoid that, like the play VIR in the rain. I'd be up for it, but I, I would completely understand anyone who already struggles at that track, just giving it a complete miss with rain. And then we're not even adding into that if it's raining. I mean, if it's uh, raining at night, Sector 1 is 0.5 off the pace. Yeah, I should be a lot calmer with my uh, exit there. Okay, we're getting smoother. And looks like the tyres are sticking. Good, 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 good. Next lap should be a good one then. That wasn't good though. And that's the first slowdown I think we've had today. We see we need to slow down if, if you don't want just to going really wide on here, sort it out. And it would, and because you're going to get a good exit out of it. It's gone up! No, don't go up! God dang it, Bobby. And just like that, we've somehow got our second back. <laughs> As an electrician, I hate the rain. That's fair enough. That's a decent enough excuse. I'll take that. Okay, let's make this one a... Let's make this one a good one. Better exit, but the entry was just lackluster. Lustra. I know what word I'm trying to say. Oh, and that was terrible. Let's ruin that lap. Thank you to the uh, 10 plus who are in here at the moment. Appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up underneath the video. It helps the discoverability of the channel. And then, of course, subscribe if you enjoy the content enough. And there's a notification bell just there so that you never miss a live stream or video. And of course, there's a lot of helpful links underneath and a few more of my socials as well, including my Twitch as well, which is my bread and butter. That's where I want your money, not here. So if you if you have Amazon Prime and you haven't put it to your Twitch account yet, free subscription to the channel. Oh. It's 
soon as I was drifting out to that bloody grass, I knew it was going to happen. Alright, grab to save it for next lap then. Yeah, that's definitely... As soon as I started turning now, I knew that was going to be an off track. See if we can take this full pelt. Can later on in the race, and that's good to know. Right, two six. Don't know why I went into third gear there. I don't know why I went into second gear there. Though, looking at how much of a better race that I got with second gear, obviously I lose a lot of time going into it. Sector 1 is 0.6 off the pace. I'm not having any luck with uh, the off tracks on this. It's not quite as bad as like Alton Park. The places like that, but I seem to be hitting them all just like that. Use the curb as much as you can. I don't know what's happened with that corner and why it's so slippy now. There we go again, just going in the completely wrong gear. I mean, as far as going into those gears, if I'm right up behind someone just to give myself a little bit of a cushion, that seems to be working. Alright, giving me a slightly quicker exit. But I need to try not to do that. It does like to keep my laps in the 21s, like early 21s. I think that would be key. If I get thrown into second split. To first it might just be the case of just having to try and relax. It's definitely gonna be freebies on here. There's there's some people who just cannot help themselves with trying and overtaking the city place. And I've done it again. Done it again. Right. I'm not helping myself. I'm, I'm just pushing too hard sometimes. Okay, um, Jay, you've used half your fuel. Sloppy driving in the wrong split is going to give somebody permission to to have a go. Potentially in the wrong wrong place, the wrong corner. Not doing my time management any good either. Yeah, I've just got to fight the car a little bit and fight the corner. 
But if I don't do that, I'm going to lose a hell of a lot of time. Oh, just a little bit too soon. See, when I'm on my off laps like this, I can I can just experiment and see how hard I can can push. I'm surprised there's not more people in the session. Very surprised there's not more people in this session. But at the same time. I'm pretty proud of my time. Like that's a for me. That's a quick time. That's a very quick time. Much better. That was great compared to what it was before. Look at that time going down. No slick stream either, so I get a real sort of good sense of pure, of true pace. I could do it a lot better with that though. Interesting. Am I downshifting wrong? Am I, am I about to like utter something that's basic driving racing knowledge and people go like how does he not know that but am I slowing down quicker by not do obviously that's me definitely slowing down quicker but braking and then shifting down the gears later rather than just shifting down as quick as I can straight away is is that slowing down my braking going like this rather than being a bit more patient or are my tires just a little bit warmer so it's that but no one's ever mentioned it to me before so can't be no I'm just imagining things I think just ignore me ignore me I'm losing it getting older Brain doesn't work the way it wants to sometimes. Come on, quickest lap in the world coming up. Time to break a world record. Better exit out there though. Keep accidentally catching that inside. Catching the inside grass in that corner is the worst thing you can do on that one. But uh, this session, I can be uh, pretty happy with what I've done on this, to be honest. I've done good, I think.
This lap's not going to be too great. I'm hoping it's kind of in the low, low 21s, high 20s, but we'll see what happens. For a second, I thought that was going to be the quickest I've ever been through there. It wasn't, but it was close. One more lap. That's your quickest lap. That's not my quickest lap. Sector 3 is, is 0.47 off the pace. No, that's definitely not my quickest lap. It's in the 21s. Fair enough. Right, we are going to finish there today. Thank you to everybody who has stopped by. If you haven't already, check out my R Factor 2 video. It's uh it's doing good numbers at the moment. Plus, for those who aren't sure whether they want to jump into the world of R Factor, check out the rain racing. Honestly, the rain racing is amazing. I absolutely loved it. We will have a video up late uploaded sometime tomorrow evening, hopefully for iRacing. racing. Another video for our factor, hopefully on Wednesday or Thursday evening, depending on how quick that takes me to edit. Our next stream is going to be on Friday. It's probably going to be a lot of F1 manager on Friday, to be honest. Saturday is going to be the official start of the birthday stream. So that's going to be like iRacing, Rocksmith, uh, Trombone Champ, Gartic Phone, Golf with Your Friends. Just, just nice relaxing patty atmosphere as well as live reaction to the Abu Dhabi Formula 1 qualifying that's when I use like a scene like this where it will have all the telemetry and stuff like that up there and it's it's pretty pretty good to see but I'm going to leave you lot with the quickest lap of the session which was done by our friend Habib who uh let's quickly onto there it's a 219.5 i don't know if this is going to be a clean lap or a little bit of an off track but Habib is 6.1k rated he's uh definitely the sort of person you want to be learning your laps from but thank you all so much if you haven't already hit that thumbs up underneath subscribe to the channel turn that notification on if you haven't already check out the rest of the links that are underneath but uh yeah take care of yourselves more importantly Make sure you take care of each other. Enjoy the lap and good night.